Well, hello. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Hey, let me begin by saying to you, Happy New Year. Praise the Lord. 2021 is here. And this is my first time to get a chance to greet you on this medium uh, in 2021. <laughs> Hey, and 2021 has come in with a bang. I mean, if you thought that 2020 would go away, when 2020 went away, that 2021 would come in and all of our troubles would be over and we could take a nap and just chill out. Man, listen, there's a, we, we see that it's not happening that way at all. I know that what happened yesterday at the Capitol, that mess that took place, uh, I know that's heavily on your mind. One of the most despicable things that we've seen in a long time. And, uh, uh, and there are things that are, that are going on. We have a new president. We have a new vice president. Things have changed. Listen, the Democrats now are in charge of the White House, the 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 uh, the Congress and the Senate. So uh, things are different. Praise the Lord. The uh, the coronavirus is still here. Different things are going on. But I have some news for you. Praise God, my friends. And I want to just remind you of something that you already know. The God of the Bible is in charge. And yes, I'm fired up. I'm as happy as can be. And listen, I'm contented. I'm contented to watch God. The late great F.D. Washington, Bishop F.D. Washington said something that has endured down throughout the annals of uh, history since those, these, saga these sagacious words exited his mouth. He said, find out which way God is moving and move with God. And that is what I've learned to do and to watch God, to pray, to seek the Lord, to do my best and then watch that that is determined by God take place. And I believe my friends that you and I are in the hands of the God of the Bible. He's in charge and God is moving by his spirit. He has told me to tell the people, uh, for that 2021 will be the year of the worshiping servant, the worshiping servant. Yes, we're going to serve the Lord in 2021, uh, but in order to continue to serve him and to, to, to do the work of the Lord, to stay on fire with our church work as we fight the good fight of faith, as we fight, listen, the Equality Act now may get signed into law. There's no one to stop it. There's no one uh, to stop these, these uh, abominable laws from being Passed, but you know what? God is going to anoint the preacher, those who are connected to the Lord. We will not all of a sudden become indifferent, we will not all of a sudden lose our voice, we will not all of a sudden lose our moral outrage. But we will stand and declare God's truth in the face of these things that are undoubtedly going to take place. And, uh, and but uh, the, the, where we get our strength from is that we are worshipers. We are connected to the Lord. We are, we are talking to God. We're keeping our relationship fresh with the Lord. Keep your relationship fresh with the Lord. Amen. Keep your relationship fresh with the Lord. Can I say it again? Keep your relationship fresh with the Lord. That's what worship means. It is, it is to proskuneo. It is to prostrate oneself. It is to bow before the Lord, but it is to lick uh, uh, one's hand as a dog licks the hand of its master. He's glad to see his master and he's excited about his master. And my friends, we got to stay excited excited about the Lord, excited about the Lord, excited about what God is doing, excited about what God is up to, excited about what God does and what God allows and what God doesn't allow. And when the Lord throws us a curve, you just follow God's curve. If it doesn't work out the way you think that it should or thought that it would, then you don't stand over in the corner and pout and you're upset with God. No, you say, well, okay, God, I'm just following you. I'm just following you. If you lead me through the desert, I'm following you. If you lead me through the mountain, I'm following you. If you lead me through worth, worth, 
rough waters, I'm following you. I'm going where you lead. Where you lead, God of the Bible, I will follow. I'm going with you. I'm going with you all the way. Now, my friends, I want to invite you to meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. Yes. We are going to study the Bible together. I can hardly wait to just walk in the scripture. And we're worshiping servants. And uh, and guess what? We might spend a little more time in Daniel chapter number 11. Man, I'll tell you, the word of God is hot. God's moving by his spirit. And I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. Join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. All my friends, the friends of ours from all over who join us on the uh, the social media platforms, we certainly appreciate you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. You know, during our uh, year-end revival where we uh, featured the sons and daughters of this ministry, we had people to come from as far away uh, as San Francisco, California to be in the services. They came for the service. To, come, to to have come from as far out away as uh, uh, Indiana. They came to be in the service from Virginia and from as close as right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And my friends, God moved in a mighty way. And we thank you out there who are watching us, who are supporting us, who are praying for us. I Listen, thank God for you. And I want to say to you, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Should the Lord delay his coming and he let us live, the sun will come up tomorrow. God's going to continue to bless. And and uh, I want you to gear up for a, a fight for 2021. Praise the Lord. In 2021, we will not get tired, but we will be worshiping servants who will stay on fire for the Lord. Book of Romans said, I got to go. I got to go. Romans says, boiling in spirit, serving the Lord. That is on fire, serving the God of the Bible. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.